yourself in because here's a game called Wild Wild Racing on the PlayStation 2. Which isn't very wild, but it is racing. Enjoy. Wild Wild Racing. I wonder how long it took them to come up with that title. Kinda sounds like that great old school TV show Wild Wild West, except, well, it's not that good. While Wild Wild Racing isn't a terribly well-known game, it's not too bad considering it's one of the very first PlayStation 2 releases from the year 2000, back when dinosaurs roamed the Earth and the Atari 2600 still dominated the industry, or at least that's how I remember it. Your objective is simple, race these dune buggy things and win. There's a championship where you can just free race and it's, uh, well, it looks a lot like this. What this game really needs is some lava. Visually, this is pretty impressive compared to most of the PlayStation 1 driving games, but all of the levels really look about the same. Gray and moody. You could almost imagine these levels complaining about how nobody understands them. I want it to be gray and rainy. There's dune buggies driving on me. I hate them. They don't get me. I get you. What you need is lava, or explosions, or some kind of monsters that are burning people and cutting them in half. What Wild Wild Racing needs is more of the Wild Wild. Racing gun wild. Where's cars taking off their hoods? Come on. This was probably a budget title when it was new, and it's most definitely a budget title. Now, Wild Wild Racing is okay and has its moments. The courses themselves are rather large and frequently have multiple paths through them. So after you get past the novice series of races in the championship mode, the other drivers start putting up a fight and taking shortcuts, forcing you to do the same. So at some point, in order to actually win races, you have to drive a little bit more on the wild, wild side, which typically means you're going to run into a tree. Yeah, yeah, I've played a lot of pretty awful PlayStation 1 racing games, especially off-road games, and this is better than that. It's on the PlayStation 2 after all, but, you know, Sega Rally 2 hands this game its own ass, and then some. So you could do better, but, you know, in their defense, they couldn't call the game Mediocre Mediocre Racing. You could also do a lot worse than this game. The controls aren't too bad, and you'll use the e-brake frequently to go around corners. And while the driving style is on the arcade side of things, obviously, it's not quite as silly as a lot of other off-road games. Wild Wild Racing has good intentions, but it's such an early PlayStation 2 game, you get this sense that they weren't really pushing it all that hard. The environments are kind of dull, and the music sucks. But if you play the game enough, you'll learn the tracks and win the races after discovering shortcuts, and you can play two-player split-screen against a friend. There's also some interesting challenge modes, where you can unlock new vehicles and push a ball around or something. I'll recommend this one if you enjoy driving games on the PlayStation 2, and you can find it for less than a dollar. I've got to give a classic game room shout out and thank you, thank you to Drew from Bryant, Arkansas for sending Wild Wild Racing to Classic Classic Game Room.